Let's go. Jacob, we're here. Luke and Jake here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today we're in the Uinta Mountains of Utah and we are going to kayak out to that island where we're gonna be fishing, catching crawfish and camping. Hey Jake, are you ready for an adventure? Yeah, let's do it. I love fishing and camping on the shores of the lake, but often there's a lot of rules and regulations forbidding that. Anywhere where you have a lot of people, there's gonna be a lot of rules. So we're gonna be a little creative and kayak out there to that abandoned island so we can have the whole place to ourselves and fish and camp all night long. Oh, this water is crystal clear. Look at that. Dad, I thought you camera was in the water. We're here. Yeah. Well, yeah. oh, look at this. This sure is pretty. You wouldn't believe it in the high mountain lakes of Utah, but there are some huge crawfish here. And we're gonna try to get a bunch for dinner. Go back to the car, get our crawfish traps, bait them up, and uh, we're gonna start fishing. All right, now we gotta get all the way back to the car. Go ahead and drop them. First thing we're going to do today is set out our crawfish traps and I've got these baby carp here and uh, we're going to chop those up and use those as bait. We also have some chicken legs as bait. These crawfish traps are called pillow traps and I made them myself from a bit of chicken wire just a few days ago. They're really simple to make. They take about four minutes a piece and all you need is some chicken wire, some wire cutters, zip ties, strings, and a bottle. You just make a tube out of the chicken wire, then you pinch the end shut and the corners, you push them inward so they make kind of like these funnels with lots of room here. And you do that on all three corners except for this one. So the crawfish can come in either which way, but they have a hard time getting out all but this way. Then you put the string on near the middle, but closest the open corner. So that when you pick it up, the open corner is facing up. But you just go and take and uh, drop a piece of fish down in there and we are ready to fish. Okay. All right, we got each trap set with a piece of chicken and a piece of carp. We're gonna go see if we can't catch some crawfish. <laughs> Well, let's cruise around and see if we can find a spot with lots of crawfish. Maybe we'll... I can see one. It's right down now. Everything loves to eat crawfish, so they tend to hide in the rocks during the daytime and come out at night. So uh, we'll just kind of see what happens, but we should be able to see them in the rocks. Oh, there's one. See him? See, he's... Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. I can see a bunch of big ones swimming around, running away from us. Okay. I'd really like to catch some trout in here. They have some very nice ones. I just saw a couple of suckers about that big. You just kind of throw them in the boat. I'll, I'll, yeah, there you go. You ready, Jake? Yeah. You know, throw it, throw it out there. The, there you go. Why don't you go and drop it right there. Throw the bottle in the water. There you go. 
All right, we got all the crawfish traps set and some of them are just covered in crawfish already. And uh, I think we're gonna catch a lot of crawfish. Ah. All right, bud, hop on out. Here at this reservoir, we're at 7,600 feet, which means you can get sunburned so easily. So that's why we're wearing our neck gaiters and we've got 50 SPF sunscreen on. You can get burned really easy at this elevation. It also means it gets much colder at night, much quicker. It's supposed to be a low of 31 degrees. So even though it's the middle of summer in a desert, I've got a three season tent here and I've got a 20 degree bag for me and a 15 degree bag for Jacob. It's just weird. We got our sleeping bags in here. <laughs> uh oh, I think I pitched the tent on top of my cooking pot. Yep, that's right. <laughs> this is the Nemo Dragonfly three person tent. It's very light. It's a great backpacking tent. It's very warm, uh, holds up pretty well in bad weather but it is very tight. If you were to fit three adults in here, you would be literally sleeping, you know, shoulder to shoulder. You know, you'd be touching each other. It's a little tight for me and two of my boys, but it's perfect for me and one other kid. Hey, you see what I mean about space? Works really well for a one adult, one kid, or maybe even an adult and two kids. Jake, you want to fish? Yeah. All right. You got the bite alarms? Yeah. All right, come come over here. There. I'm gonna put it right here. This right here is the Daiwa Liberty Club short swing surf rod. It's from Japan. It's the 2270. It's got a Daiwa Tatula reel on it. And this thing is so light. If you drop it in the water with the reel on it, it'll actually float. And I can put it in my checked bag so easy. I use them for catfish and carp and trout, love them. So this reservoir has rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, kokanee salmon, uh, suckers, maybe some catfish. You just don't know what you're going to catch, but everything loves to eat earthworms. So I'm going to throw uh, one rod out with some earthworms on a bottom rig. I'm going to throw another one out uh, under a float and we're going to see what happens. So I got my rod set up in these bite alarms. Anything comes and hits it makes a nice loud beep. So me and Jake can mess around with our stuff and if a fish comes along and bites, we're gonna hear it. Well, I've got a little boy who is hounding me to go check the crawfish traps. Isn't that right, buddy? You wanna go check the crawfish traps? Yeah. They've only been soaking for about an hour, but it'll give us a good idea of which locations are producing and which ones aren't. Oh, we got a fish. We got a fish. We got him! We got him! We got a fish! You want to reel it in? Yeah. Okay, reel him in. Oh, did he pop off? Oh, it popped off! What was it? I have a really weird bait set up here. I've got a carp rig with a fake piece of corn on a hair rig. What I did is I took some of this uh, trout bait here, ball of it around the corn like that. Then I put an earthworm on the actual hook like that. <laughs> okay, pull it, grab that bottle. Pull the string up high, fast. Pull it up, pull it up. Oh, I see him. I see him. He pull up the traps. Look at the traps. We have some. Look at this. Look at it, some nice ones too. Here. Pull it up. All right, look at this. Here we go. What you do is grab the bottle and you got to pull it up quickly. You pull them up, throw it over there, right there. All right, another crawfish. That is a lot of crawfishes. Are you excited to eat them? Yeah. That lobster been in battles. 
is Wops Thousand. All right. That's a few of them. I'll do a little snack. Here. Do you see them almost? Yeah, they, they're so armored. Look at this. Yeah, look at these. Hey! See, if you grab them behind the shoulders, they can't pinch you. Unless, of course, you're doing a crawfish fight. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look at this. He's pinched you. Let go of him. See? He's pinched your life jacket. <laughs> see, that's why you always wear a life jacket while crawfishing. Here, watch. I got it. <laughs> you, you, you don't mind picking them up, do you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And put it in the wheel. Really that lobstone. Hey. You come see. Okay. Yeah, throw him in there. There you go. Oh. There we go. All right, you ready to eat some crawfish? Yeah. Okay, you want you want me to show you how you eat them? Yeah. Grab their tail, and you just pull like that. You grab the the tail fin, and you pull it straight out. See, if you pull the fin straight back, sometimes you can pull the poop out. And then you pop the shell on the side. Anything that's crunchy, you just remove. Now there you go, a little bit of tail meat. Jake, you want to try that? You can bust the claws off, bust the thumb off, squish the claw. You eat a little bit of claw beat. Yes. You're really hardcore. You suck the mustard out of the head. Mm. Good. So you bet you're wondering how on earth are there crawfish at 7,000 feet in the Rocky Mountains of Utah? Well, they were introduced and they are not a native species. And there's absolutely tons of them and very few people around here eat them. So there's no bag limit and almost zero regulations on them. You just get a fishing license and you can go to town on crawfish. Cool. That's the freshest seafood you'll find in Utah. There's so many crawfish here because of another non-native species, the landlocked salmon called the kokanee salmon. It's basically a red salmon or a sockeye salmon that's landlocked. And every year the kokanees go up into the rivers, spawn and die, and their bodies get flushed into the reservoir and the crawfish go crazy on them. You wanna, you wanna eat the corns? That's their poop. Got some inside? We're eating their butts. Well, this ain't my first rodeo introducing small kids to crawfish. They generally love playing with them, but don't eat a ton of them. So I have some backup dinner ready for Jacob. Here, try that out. See what you, see if you like it. In these high altitude dry environments, you get dehydrated so quickly and you've just got to keep drinking water. And little kids are really bad at that. They just won't force themselves to drink when they're not feeling like it. A little powder drink mix will go a long way to keeping kids drinking water and keeping them hydrated. There you go. A little cup for you. I think Count Dracula here needs a wet wipe. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, almost, almost done. Okay. I'd like to catch a ton of crawfish on this trip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the trap soak until right about bedtime. Then we're gonna go out in the kayak and pull the traps, rebait them, throw them out, and uh, hopefully tomorrow morning we're gonna have a ton of crawfish. But we got a couple hours before bedtime, so I think uh, me and Jake should digest in the tent and watch some cartoons. Now sit down and we'll take your boots off so you don't get your boots on the on the sleeping bags. I'm not all You're an earthworm? Yeah. One thing I do love about this tent, it has one, two, three, four, five pouches to put stuff. If you're gonna have a small tent, you better have a lot of storage space. Oh! We 
get a fish. Woohoo! Oh, look at this. What a lovely trout. Look at that. That is a nice, healthy fish. I think we need to have some trout with our crawfish. Huh? huh? That is a nice fish. Look at that. Oh. oh, that's awesome. I want to go catch some more of those. We're going to eat the trout tomorrow and I want to keep it alive until then. So I grabbed one of my crawfish traps to put the trout inside it. And uh, man, look at this. We are loaded. So I'm just going to take the, the trap. So there we go. Oh, there you go. That should work. There's a fish! A fish! Oh, look at it! Oh, look at that beautiful sucker! Oh, he put up a better fight than that rainbow. What a beautiful fish. But uh, I ain't gonna eat him, so let's... Bye bye! Oh, that was awesome! Camping with Jacob on a beautiful day, kayaking, catching crawfish, catching fish. It's nice. All right, the sun's almost set. We're gonna go pull all of our crawfish traps and rebait them and see what we got. Oh, yeah, we got some. A few. We got a few in there. Uh, five. Five. Okay, throw back in the fish. Oh, look at this! There's even one on the string! <laughs> oh, only one. Oh. Got, uh, got another five. We pulled six traps, rebaited them, and the sun's about to set, so we're gonna head back to camp and uh, get ready for the night. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Got a good pile of crawfish there. Yeah, crawfish are supposed to be more active at night, so who knows how many we'll have come tomorrow morning. I accidentally ran over this with the kayak and the trout got out. <laughs> All right, buddy, hop into your bed, okay? Oh, I remember when I bought these jammies for Nathan when we went to Spain. Yeah. I got Jacob in a Big Agnes Little Red 15 degree bag, and I'm in a Western Mountaineering uh, 20 degree down bag. It's supposed to be in the 30s tonight, so uh, we'll see how we do. But uh, I think we'll be we'll be in pretty good shape. <sighs> He's so scary. I'm a human. Oh, thank goodness. But one in my belly and one in my back. Keep you warm tonight? All right. You lay down, try to get some sleep, okay? Well, Jacob's asleep and I heard some fish jumping, so I freshened up the rods and uh, I'm just gonna sit here and mess around on my phone a little bit. Maybe we'll catch something before I need to call it a night, but man, this has just been fabulous, fabulous camping trip. Well, I'll tell you what guys, it is no joke cold right now and it is getting colder. I am using every bit of this sleeping bag and I'm considering putting on some hand warmers or a fleece. It's, it's cold. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, I just realized if I hook a fish, I'm gonna have to get out of my sleeping bag. Oh, I just had another fish on and lost it but it's uh, time to go to bed. So I'm gonna reel it in and uh, get snuggled in my bag. It's so cold out here. <laughs> oh, good morning. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. Jacob's still snoozing away. It got cold last night, but we were okay. Uh, worked out all right. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the fishing rods back in and just kind of take it easy and when Jacob gets up, I'll make some breakfast and then we're gonna pull those crawfish traps. See what we got after they've sat out all night long. 
I can hear little man starting to stir in the tent. Hey, good morning, Jake. Good morning. You sleep well last night? Yeah. You stay warm? Good. What would you rather do first? Eat breakfast or check the crawfish traps? Check out crawfish traps. <laughs> I thought I knew the answer to that. Gonna go get crawfish in our jammies. How cool is that? Let's see about this one. Just two. Oh, look how many there are in here. Holy mackerel. Oh man, there was like 20 in that one. I'm using this one inch mesh chicken wire. So any of the small crawfish, they just jump out as soon as you start pulling the trap because they can go in and out of the trap really easy. So you end up with only the keepers. There we go. You did pretty good, bud. <laughs> this one was trying to get away, but he's all tangled up. Oh, this one was pretty good. Oh, I think we tapped him out pretty good yesterday. So most of the traps didn't do very well this morning, but two of them I'd set off in slightly different locations, you know, just 20, 30 feet away. And uh, those ones did real well. So, you know, lesson learned there. We got a pretty good amount of them though. It's beautiful and calm today, exactly what we need. I don't want to be kayaking with all of our gear and Jacob when it's rough. Well, there we go. That's that's not bad. I mean, that's a meal right there. Some nice ones. You want breakfast? How about blueberry granola? You okay with that? Oh, the... Home. Well, there we go. We've got that kayak right up to its max weight capacity. Luckily, it's glassy smooth out there and uh, it's a right on top kayak, so it can't swamp, but we'll see what happens. Well, I called my wife and my in-laws to tell them that we got some crawfish etouffee coming their way and uh, all of them gave me a resounding no thank you. So, we're gonna let all the crawfish go. We're... Those are cool. What a neat place. But uh, we're gonna go home and go see mama. Coming. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, buddy. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna try again, but this time daddy's gonna be more careful. See? Was that better? Yeah. <laughs> if you're soggy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay. Is it funny that daddy wet his pants? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. No. Oh, well, that's it. We're on the bottom. Here, I'll get out. There you go, bud. Jake, did you have a fun time? Yeah. Even though I dumped you in the water? Yeah. <laughs> Well, listen, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed this adventure. Please check out more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Check out our playlist. We have camping adventure playlists, travel playlists, lots of great videos on there. And don't forget to check out my other channel for more fishing videos, the Catfishing Carp YouTube channel. Between the Outdoor Boys and the Catfishing Carp, I have over 850 videos. So lots of stuff to check out. But don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. That's not God! If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.